Hello everyone and welcome to this bonus lesson. First of all, this is my first tutorial in English. I used to speak Spanish, so I hope you can forgive my terrible English. Thank you. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to model a brick wall. So let's go ahead and create a grid node. This will, will create a geometry node and inside you can find the grid node. Let's hide this one. And I'm going to change the orientation to Y and Z and tweak some parameters. And I'm going to use this grid as a template to place the bricks. So for the bricks, I'm going to use a box node. And let's add a group node. Change uh, primitive to points and group by pattern to group by range. And what this is doing, it's uh, a loop. It's counting through all the points and every two points, it's selecting the first one. So if I change this to four, it's gonna select the first point of every four and then it keeps counting. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the time. So let's change this to two. And now uh, I'm not happy with the order of the points. It's now uh, counting from uh, top to bottom in the y, in the y uh, axis, so from the bottom to the top, and I want to order the point from left to right in the z axis, so I'm going to use the sort node to change that order, and select by z, and now, as you can see, it's counting this way from left to right so now using a transform node I'm going to move these points in the z direction 0 0.5 and now I, I have the template to place the bricks let's add a copy node just connect the box in the first place and second one here and now I have the brick I need to tweak the size of the brick and this have this is a problem because if now I decide to change the size of my grid I need to come back here and I want to fix this I don't want to come back here every time I decide to change the size of my grid so let's just select the first parameters, left, or, sorry, right click your mouse and open edit expression. So here I'm going to reference the channels from the grid. I need the Y and Z size. So I can select this one and just drag and drop here and I have the path. Now, I can access to this the value of this channel. Uh, I'm going to change the path. And to um, find the size, the correct size, I need to take the size of my grid divided by the columns minus one, because if you uh, see the grid, yeah, I have 10 uh, columns and 10 rows, but inside I have a nine box by nine. So I need to divide this by the columns. Minus one. To find what's the name of the parameter, just put your cursor in the top and it will re reveal the name, in that, ca that case, calls. Okay, let's copy this one. Apply, accept, and now do the same here. Explosion. Let's change this to Y 
and rows. Apply except. Now let's see if it's working. Yeah, it's working. Let's change the size of the grid. And yeah, as you can see, it's working now. Uh, another thing I need to fix is the grid is fitting right on on the floor, but as you can see, the bricks are not sitting fine. And if I change the size of the grid, even the grid is not fitting in the right place. I need to change this. Let's open the expression here. And to find the right place for the grid, I need to um, use the Y size divided by two. So let's select the channel. Size y divided by 2 by 2 apply yeah. so now if i change this the grid it's in the place but now i need to find this uh, size for the brick and i know the size of the brick and uh, what i need is half the size of a brick so first again i need to find the y size of the rig that will be the channel size y divided by channel rows and plus, sorry, minus one, and all this I need to divide it by two. And hope it works. Let's see the result. expression so I'm taking the first I need to find the right place for the grid and then I need to add half the size of a brick okay th that's all uh, hope you understand everything I, I'm sorry about my English I promise I will try to improve it a little bit Anyway, thank you for watching this video.